Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to the Dark Eye Chains of Satanov. When we last left off, we got quite of a lot of information about the world that we're in, and uh, we are currently working on a challenge to find uh, four oak leaves, and these ugly pigs are making a lot of noise, thank you pigs. And so we do know that uh, we have two of the oak leaves, and uh, these guys right here have one of my oak leaves, and I don't know where the uh, fourth our oak leaf is. But if we open up our handy dandy journal, the oak leaf challenge. This cursed dire Ogierd and his servant have once again obstructed my progress. They've stolen my third oak leaf. I have to get it back before some other bloke wins the challenge. And I have to find my fourth oak leaf, too. And then there's actually two entries, and that was the second one. And the first entry is the oak leaf challenge. King Efferdan is, is awaiting the visit of Nostria's queen, and Andergast is sprucing up the town fair. In order to celebrate the occasion, the young Andergastians have been called to the oak leaf challenge, an opportunity to show what I'm worth. <clears throat> there are four oak leaf shaped badges hidden throughout the town and for every participant. Whoever finds his oak leaves first will be honored by the king himself. So that's pretty cool. And as you can see, we do have a little map here with a little dot, and I'm presuming that's our current location. So let's uh, keep walking over this way because these two guys are talking about the uh, oak leaf. And. We need to somehow eavesdrop, and I think if I go through this door, leads me up here. Well, the guard says he doesn't have it. What was it, text of the riddle again, Ogid? Damn, can't you remember anything? In front of the castle stands a guard with his trousers and shirt, and in one of those two there's a leaf. I give you my word. There's a leaf. Yes. But he swore by Prios that he doesn't have it. Let me think. Huh. Okay, so it sounds like there's a guard that does absolutely have a leaf, but for whatever reason he didn't give it to these two guys. Maybe because it's not their leaf. I don't know. No idea. <clears throat> but we do have a uh, rope and some barrels here. Let's see uh, if we can examine the rope. A single rope for all the barrels? It's a lot of barrels. It's a huge amount of barrels, actually. A single rope. All right, and that's all we can do with this for now, I think. I don't know why we want to mess with the barrels anyway. They're very nicely stacked, and I like how it's there's just this one little peggy, <laughs> the stake. What if a cartwheel rams it? Well, I guess as long as the barrels only come crashing into our house, no one will take offense. It's very true. It is kind of funny how it's right next to our house. <laughs> All right, so we can go this way, we can go this way, we can go down here, anything else? The pigs, yes. The most cunning swine of the realm. At least the shoemaker doesn't let them roam free anymore. That would be bad, I think. Can we talk to the pigs? You stink. You stink. Okay, they don't seem too affected by his insult. You stink. Like I ran all the way back here just to say that. Anyway, let's start down here because why the heck not? Okay. Looks like we have a little bit of a marketplace. Hey, I thought he wasn't letting the pigs roam around. There's a pig right there. Hmm. All right. Uh... We have a Temple of Ranjra. Let's take a look at that. Rumor has it that the adepts of the Goddess of War don't think highly of the King's efforts towards peace. Okay. Do we interact with it at all? I'm still banned from the Temple. Humorless priests. Okay, uh, whatever he did there. Not good. Andros. Even the beggars think I'm weird. Can we talk to him? Good day, Andros. You're still not talking to me? Thought so. Yep, alright. We have a, uh, Jindrik here, or Hendrik. Jindrik just can't be helped, but that's the only thing we have in common. <laughs> okay, let's take, uh, let's talk to him. 
Good day, blacksmith. Sod off, bird catcher. I've got a lot on my schedule. Besides, even my best blades catch rust when you're around. Hmm. So apparently, uh, Garon is definitely not a, uh, not really liked in the town for whatever reason. I know that people keep saying he uh, brings a lot of curses and bad luck, luck to people, but I haven't seen it yet, so we'll see. Alright, so we do have a couple dialogue options. Let's start at the top. So, what's on your schedule? Don't schedule. play dumb, kid. I'm the blacksmith. There'll be jousts in town soon. Who do you think will tend to the dented suits of armor, polish the lances and sharpen the swords, huh? Someone who's good at those kind of things? Oh, shut your trap. Shut it. I'll say shut it. Who will win the jousts? What do you think? Who's got the best chance at winning the joust? I don't care either way. What I do care about is that the knights pay me handsomely for my services. This year the all-time champion can't compete anyway, so the tournament doesn't make any sense at all, really. <laughs> and who would that be, pray tell? Why, the knight Bogumil Wraithling, of course. Never heard of him. Well, that's too bad. Okay. Prize of the Oakleaf Challenge. I wonder what the prize for the winner of the Oakleaf Challenge will be. How should I know? I guess you'll be knighted. You really think? Well, in case you win, I sure hope not. <laughs> hmm. We'll see about that. Well, when I do win, we'll find out. Keep on forging. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Keep on forging, that's funny. Oh, Garon. Maybe the prize will be a uh, certificate of participation. Oh, what was that? We have a tankard down here. Let's take a look at that. Don't think for a second that I'll give you some of my beer. Okay, looks like very frothy beer. Hey, hands off! Hey, hands off! All right, all right, I won't take your beer. Tomorrow it's off to the slaughter. Ooh, okay, this pig is getting slaughtered. At least it will have one more good night's sleep. It doesn't know what the future has in store after all. Nope. It seems pretty content right there. Oops, didn't mean to do that. All right, who is this chick? Hilda. Hilda will always be Hilda. She'll still be standing here in a hundred years. Okay, that's... She'll be pretty old then. Hello, Giron. Have you caught a lark for me yet? No, not yet. Come on, Giron. I have a feeling you're not trying hard enough for me. Nonsense. It's just not the right season for larks. You think I believe that? What do you want with a lark anyway? It should sing for me. What else? Of course. Okay. Of course it would. Pot with lots. What's in the big pot? Acorns. For the pigs? No, those are lots for the town fair, in honor of the Queen of Nostria. One draw is a kreutzer. And what are the prizes? I still have this straw puppet, this flask of plum spirit, and this wheel of cheese. The winner can choose the prize for themselves. Okay. Can I buy a lot? I want to test my fortune. Well, Geron, are you sure? With your luck, I'll bet you'll lose. Don't you start as well. Here's your Kreutzer. <sighs> Damn. Will you be so kind as to put the acorn in this box? And please don't look so disappointed. Bad luck at gambling means good luck in love, right? Uh, sure, I guess. I'm going to question the odds of this little acorn gambling scheme she's got going on. Has anyone ever won at all? Of course. What do you think I am? A cheat? Look, I put all the acorns that have already been drawn into this box. I've painted little patterns on the winning acorns. And as you can see, there is already one winning lot in the box. That means that there has in fact been a winner already. All of the acorns all are just right, won. All right. Wow. Okay. Very fair. Fair enough. Hustle and bustle of the fair. Quite busy, isn't it? Yes. Isn't that great? And this is just the beginning. All those strangers, the beautiful music. Finally, some life in Andergast. But have you heard of Magistra Dorata? No. The old hag who looks like her wand? Yes. Don't mock her. I guess I have She's heard of her. dead. Dead? Her eyes torn right from their sockets. Ooh, that's grisly. Same as Knight Alderic. Grisly. That's weird. Yes. 
Isn't the minstrel's music to die for? <laughs> okay. That's uh, an odd thing to say after uh, telling someone that they someone got murdered with their eyes getting pulled out. Uh, whatever. Uh, how about the music at the fair? Do you like the music? Yes, I've been listening the whole time. Oh, how I'd love to go closer to the musician and watch him play. But unfortunately, I have to stay here and watch the lots. I wish he would play the song about the Bruin's Bride. I don't think I could hold myself back any longer in that case. Hmm. Well, this song. What's so special about this Bruin's song? Well, Garon, it's just so beautiful. Everything else seems so insignificant when I listen to it. You would have to listen to it for yourself if you want to understand what I mean. Okay. So apparently we need to ask, uh, talk to the musician about that. Let's see, what does she think the prize is? What do you think the winner of the challenge will receive for a prize? I guess the victor will receive a commendation from the king and will be able to parade around a medal. That's it? What do you mean? Have you entered the contest? Why not? My, you keep hanging in there, don't you, Geron? Okay, so... We already know these things. We can buy another lot, but I think I'm just going to hold on to my money at the moment. And we already have questioned her about the odds, and we know about her songs. So let's let's leave. See you later, Hilda. See you, and don't forget the lark. Yes, yes, we need the lark. <coughs> okay. So these prizes, there's a couple of them. There's a wheel of cheese. There's the straw puppet, and I'm kind of standing in front of the third one. There's the uh, plum spirit. That's the third prize. So let's take a look at these. Old Cephal's plum spirit. I wonder if he still fattens his pigs on it. Could be. They get the hiccups every day. <laughs> let's see if we can just take it without winning. I'm not going to sell any of it. They are the lottery prizes for winners. Which excludes me, I suppose. <laughs> oh... I wonder if they like each other. There's got to be something there. There's the pot with lots. That's what we drew from. Hey, it's against the walls to take a peek. Okay, well, let's just take one. You shouldn't be stealing, Geron. One draw is a kreutzer. One draw is a kreutzer. All right, how about the straw puppet? Did you make the puppet yourself? Do you like it? Well, it's so-so. Uh, wow. Well, at least he's honest. Let's take the puppet. You shouldn't be stealing, Geron. All right. And the wheel of cheese, which looks pretty delicious. And there's already a slice taken out of it, apparently. Where did you get that giant cheese? I got it as a present. And now you're selling it off? Shh. Okay. I wonder Hands why off. she, uh... Maybe she tried it and didn't like it. Who knows? There's the uh, box. Hilda is as unwary as ever. The box doesn't even have a lock. All right, if it doesn't have a lock. Hands off. Ooh, but she does seem to have the eyes of a hawk. All right, anything else here? I mean, there are, we have the oh, Gleeman, Gleeman the musician. Anything else in here? I can always hit the space bar, but I kind of want to avoid doing that as much as I can. Oh, we have some uh, clothes up here. We have an apron. I've got my own garments. And, uh, underclothes. I've got my own garments. And a doublet. The times are so bad that people have to make do with pieces of clothing for town fair decoration. <laughs> Anything else? No. Okay. Interesting that he, uh, said something more than, you know, the apron and the underclothes. So this must be something potentially important. Can we take the doublet? Out of reach. Okay, yep, we can't take it. Why must everything always be out of reach? I don't know. It's because it's an adventure game. If it was in reach, it'd be kind of boring and there would be no puzzles to solve. All right, let's uh, take a look at Gleeman. Well, uh, I don't know much about music. Okay, let's talk to him. Greetings, minstrel. What might be thy name? It's Gleeman. My name is Fredhelm. Oh, Fredhelm. What do you want? Fredhelm? As in Broderick Fredhelm? No, I'm afraid not. Just Fredhelm. <laughs> but you don't have to be so damn formal. All right then, what is it? Is there anything you wanted to complain about? Yeah, your music, it's terrible. 
I'm just kidding, actually, his music is kind of cool. Alright, um, let's ask him about his current song that he's playing. What's the name of the song you just played? The Ditty from Torster Om. Is there something wrong with it? Uh, by no means, I was just curious. Okay, how do I become a musician? Where did you learn to play the fiddle? Taught myself. Wow. When I was a little boy, I used to watch very closely what musicians did with their fingers. And that is all? No. I drew the strings and frets onto a board with coal and practiced all the chords every day. I simply imagined the music. At some point, I finally got hold of a real fiddle, literally speaking. And since then, I've traveled the lands as a fiddler. Huh. Interesting. All right, let's ask for Hilda's song. I'm assuming what we need to do is draw our way so that we can uh, either get the winning acorn or take the cheese or the puppet or the plum spirits or all of it. Anyway, so let's do that. Can you play something different? You don't like my music, huh? Oh, but I do, I do. It's just that I'd like to hear a certain song. The song about the Bruin's Bride. Hmm, I haven't played that in a long time. Can't I play a different tune? No. Play it. I'll provoke him. I encourage him. I'll be a little bit nice. Come on, you can do it, Fred Helm. These people aren't going to notice if there's some notes missing anyway. All right. And make it nice and loud, please. So that everybody in the marketplace can hear you. Will do. A special request for this bird catcher here. Oh. What? Be careful, minstrel. When the bird catcher has requests, there's bound to be some damage. You can't know this, but he's going to spell doom for all of us. <laughs> Don't listen to them. Just play. All right, let's see what the song sounds like. Not bad. Not bad. And uh, Hilda is definitely into it. So let's uh, talk to her. Hilda? Ooh. Hilda! She is entranced <sighs> by it. Wow. Alright, so let's see if we can uh, fiddle with something here. If I absolutely have to steal, at least I shouldn't be taking something from right under her nose. Alright, we'll take it right from behind her nose then. The lots that have already been drawn. Ah, this acorn here has a pattern. Okay, so now I should have the acorn in my pocket. There it is, the winning lot. Let's take a look at it. I won. <laughs> yeah, you did. You won, all right. What happens if I were to use, like, say, my magic on this pot? No. Hilda is the only one who tries to be nice to me. Okay. That's true. She did seem to be nice to him, so I will give, her, give him that. Now, I have this acorn. I wonder, do I put it into pot? Help yourself, and Fex will be with you. Let's give it to Hilda. She didn't notice anything. Now I can't talk to her. Hilda? Hilda! I can't <sighs> take anything. I can't take the cheese. If I instance. absolutely have to steal. No, I know if I talk to the... Fred Helm? Yes. Ah, uh, okay. You can play something else now if you want to. You're pulling my leg, aren't you? I just thought maybe something happy and cheerful would be nice for a change. A drinking song, maybe. Well, all right then. But at some point, I'll be done with your requests. Um, okay. Maybe. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Let's see here. Let's talk to Hilda. Oh, Gemon, what a wonderful song. Why don't you play your flute anymore? I'd let you practice in front of my window every night. Oh, yeah, someone oh, has a... please, no. <laughs> I'd rather cut off both my ears than listen to that whining. Hmm. I'll think about it. Oh, Hilda. Don't make it too obvious that you like him. All right, let's buy another lot. I'm going to assume this is what I need to do. I, I, I want to have another go. I'm sure I'll be lucky this time. No, 
You're only wasting your money. And you could let the others have their turn too. There are no others around at the moment, so please take the Kreutzer. All right, if that's what you want. Exactly. Now for a quick exchange with the winning lot. There! I won! Bah! Witchcraft! Oh, witchcraft. Congratulations, Geron. What prize do you want? Ooh, what prize do I want? Uh... I wonder if this matters. Huh. Um... I didn't think this far ahead. I, I hope I'm hoping it doesn't matter. I hope I can just maybe exchange it back and get a different prize. So I'm gonna just start with uh, the wheel of cheese. Why not? Give me the wheel of cheese. Here you go. If you'd rather have something else, you can come and exchange it. There later. you go. All right, sweet. Like I said, I've never. I've, this is about as uh, up to the point of where I talked to Hilda. Is uh, oh, I got a little achievement. Okay. Um, up toward the point of where I talked to Hilda was where I stopped playing the last when I was just giving this a test run. So uh, up to this point I've not played it at all. So I have no idea what's going on anymore. Just letting you guys know. But with that, now that we have our uh, delicious wheel of cheese, we can make some macaroni and cheese. I wonder why I chose this in the first place. Uh, it's because I picked it for you, Garon. Anyway, so I think this is a good stopping point. We uh, got our wheel of cheese, or at least we got a prize. I'm not sure what to do with it. I'm not sure where to go next, but we'll find out in the next episode of The Dark Eye, Chains of Satinov. Until then.